Universal Studios Orlando has announced that they are going to be shutting down Revenge of the Mummy ride for maintenance, which only means that they're going to be improving the ride, making it a little bit better. Which begs the question, what about Universal Studios Hollywood? That's right guys, this is Mark from Inside the Magic California and I am going to be traveling to Universal Studios Hollywood in order to see if the Revenge of the Mummy ride really does need any upgrades like they're doing in the sister park in Universal Studios Orlando. So let's check it out. Revenge of the Mummy ride is based off of the film franchise, The Mummy, starring Brendan Fraser. It came out in 1999 and uh, I don't know about you, but I was a kid then, so I was pretty darn scared of this movie. There was this part in the movie where these little bug things kind of like crawl through your skin and it's just kind of like gave me the heebie-jeebies. So, uh, you know, going on this ride, I'm a little bit older, I'm a little bit more mature. So, uh, you know, hopefully it's a, it's a little bit of a better experience than when I was a kid. Now, one of the best benefits of going to Universal Studios Hollywood as opposed to going to Universal Studios Orlando is the amount of people that are actually visiting the park. In Hollywood, there's not a lot of people there as opposed to Orlando, which is usually pretty, pretty packed. So I was able to get on the ride pretty much immediately, which meant that I wasn't able to spend a whole lot of time in the queue line. But from the time that I did spend in the queue line, I very much enjoyed it. I mean, this thing had all of the really cool hieroglyphics and sarcophaguses and um, ancient Egyptian relics, things like that. It was really, really cool. So, starts off really, really strong. You got Emotep and his whole mummy army vibe and they're looking at you and they're like, you ever work in the mummy? He's on revenge. And so it was very scary, right? And then it, boom, goes right into this dark ride coaster thing where you are just going maybe 40, 50 miles an hour. I don't know if it was actually that fast, but it kind of seemed like it was going that fast. Neon mummies that are looking like they're gonna grab you, which was super duper intense. You come to this like halfway point, like the stopping point. The thing goes backwards and now you're going 40 miles an hour the complete opposite way. That was super duper fun. I loved the whole thing. I thought it was great. I really did. It was super exciting, very thrilling. But to be honest, it was a little short for me. That's all. Um, I thought that it had a really, really intense buildup. But then after that, it just kind of ended and that was it. In that sense, um, that could definitely be uh, used for improvements or maintenance or things like that. Adding a little bit more to the ride, I think would have been a little bit more helpful. But the, the queue line was really strong. I thought that the um, the beginning of the ride was really, really strong. The fact that it went backwards, I thought was really, really awesome. But again, the only thing that I really would change is I think that they could add more and maybe add more story elements from the franchise into the ride. Especially now since there's more films about the mummy, uh, I think that they really could have added more of the story elements into that. I'm not necessarily saying that you should shut down the ride completely or, or definitely, definitely keep it. I definitely think that this ride deserves to stay here. Um, but I do think that it could use some improvements. So there it is folks, Revenge of the Mummy Ride in Universal Studios Hollywood and Universal Studios Orlando. Now, remember the one in Orlando is gonna be closing down for a bit for maintenance. So if you wanna go on the Orlando one before it shuts down for a little while, then go for it. But also you can still go on the Mummy Ride in Universal Studios Hollywood if you would really like to. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe for any and all things Inside the Magic. I hope you guys have a great Wednesday. Wednesday. My name is Mark from Inside the Magic California. See you next time, guys.